welcome back to Blindly Honestly, and if you are new, hello and welcome. And before I get started, let me go ahead and ask you guys all to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video out with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So today's video is one that personally I've seen a lot of people do already, and that is the red and blue eye. I know, I know. And I do not have a very good track record with blue colors, but we're going to try it. Hopefully it does not look like a complete mess because my eyes do not do very good with blue, unfortunately. But we're still going to try it because I'm stubborn and I refuse to not wear blue eyeshadow. <laughs> so this look I have personally seen a lot, but it really reminds me of like the Miser Brothers from the uh, Year of Thousand Santa Claus and the Miser Brothers Christmas, which I have never seen but I know of. <laughs> so you know how you have the heat miser and the snow miser. So I'm going to attempt to do uh, two different colored eyes. I've really, I've never done a look like this. So, and also you guys are probably going to get a video every day this week. I know you didn't have a video yesterday on Monday and that was because I'm, I didn't film on Friday. I just wasn't feeling it. So yeah, um, you're going to get a video every day this week because I realized that Christmas is Tuesday. And I was planning on really updating, or keep doing the 12 days of Christmas until next Friday, but I really don't want to be uploading Christmas week. I'm gonna be taking that whole week off in a couple weeks after because we have trips planned and family day and all that. So I will be doing my hardest up to upload six more videos this week and into the weekend. So yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get, so we are going to start with the P. Louise space. And again, this is Rumor 05. All right, so we are jumping back into the James Charles palette. We're gonna be doing a little easy uh, with this video because we are going to stick to the quads that are already in this palette. So we're gonna be sticking to this quad right here, which is rusted 518, literally, and you're kidding. We probably won't use literally just because I don't really feel a need for a shimmer and we're probably we'll end up jumping into Mary a little bit just because it has a really nice coppery red. So we're gonna jump into the red first. And for that, I'm going to start with my upper crease. And I did not wash my brushes this weekend because um, Saturday we went and saw Nine Inch Nails in LA and we were out there until almost. I think we got home at about one or two o'clock, maybe two. And then Sunday morning, we went right out and finished our Christmas shopping. So yeah. So we are going to start with 518, which is this orange, yellow right here, this orange right here. And we're just going to start in our upper crease. And for this, just pat it on and then we'll blend. And now we're gonna blend. Oh, and for this, I'm using R35, which is just a blending brush. And then we're gonna jump into Rusted, which is that red orange right here. And for that, I am picking up R34. And we're going to pat that right onto the crease and into that orange and then blend it together. Then if you want to have that orange a little bit brighter, pick up 518 again and just blend it onto the top so that it's nice and blended together. So we are going to pick up this dome blending brush. This is from Echo Tools. And we are actually going to jump into Tune, which is this yellowy shade right here. And we're gonna go into the inner corner and kind of lighten that up a little bit. And then go back into 518, into Rusted. All right, so we're gonna pick up R34 again, and we're gonna jump into Your Kidding, which is that really pretty red. And we're gonna blend this onto the bottom um, outer corner of your eyelid, but only go about halfway in. And just pat that on, 
and then blend it up into the orange. And it is okay if you blend into the crease because you do want that to be blended nice and evenly. You see how that red blends in really, really nice with the orange and the yellow. And just blend it out for a little bit. It's now for one of my favorite parts. We are going to take our 43, which is this, or the short flat brush. And we're gonna take our P. Louise and we're gonna cut our crease. Okay, so now we're going to ignore the side and jump next door. So let's apply our base. I'm going to apply a lot because I want to have a nice block on my lid so that my natural skin tone doesn't really poke through and mess up the blue. Alright, so we're going to start with R39, which is just the normal blending brush. And for this side, we're going to be using this quad right here but again we're not going to be using the glittery shade so these shades are playground brother cola and acapella but we're probably not going to use acapella because it's glittery and i really want this look to shade to stay pretty matte okay so we're going to start with I believe that is playground which is this light blue and for this we're going to go into our upper crease and start by patting it in and then we'll blend it up so it gets darker. Okay, now we're going to go into Brother, which is this darker blue, and we're going to do the same thing we did on the other eye where you we patted it into the crease line, and we're going to use the same brush. So we're going to jump back into Playground and just kind of highlight this a bit there we go okay we're gonna pick up a different brush and for this I'm going to use just the blending brush from the gilded collection there's no name and we're going to jump into cola which is the dark blue and this is gonna go on the outer corner and blend it into the upper crease So now we're going to cut our crease and attempt to do the white again. And I'm not even going to mess with flashback in the James Charles pot for this one. I'm just going to jump right into life. Life is a drag because I learned my lesson. <laughs> so I'm going to take R42 and we're going to jump into cake face. And we're just going to apply that white. Now we're gonna try to blend a little bit of the light blue into the white. We're just gonna pick up the same brush we did our crease with and we're not going to put any shadow on it. We're just gonna use what shadow is left on the brush. And we're just gonna do some gentle sweeping right here to kind of make the white and the dark blue blend together. Now, why was that so hard to do with this eye? 
now that the, the eyes are done, I'm gonna go do my face and then I will come back and do the finishing touches. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this eye got very irritated and red. I'm not gonna blame the James Charles, the James Charles palette for that. I'm gonna blame the NYX Jumbo Pencil because it was doing fine until I put that on there. I ended up wiping it off and redoing this eye. So if it looks irritated and funky, it's because it was really, really watery still. But I did want to finish this look for you. So this is the finished look without any liner. Um, <laughs> just ignore this eye. I've been sitting here for like 10, 20 minutes trying to get this eye right here to look somewhat like presentable and just, no matter how much shadow I pack on it just keeps getting clumpy because it is still really watery so I am gonna go ahead and put some shadow underneath my eye just to finish the look and then I'm just gonna wipe my face off and go flush my eyes out with some um, eye drops so um so we are going to jump into Playground and Brother, these two are going to go underneath the blue eye. And then we're going to jump into You're Kidding and Rusted. And we're going to put these two underneath the red eye. Like I'm really worried and I'm hoping that my eye being irritated like this doesn't cause me to get a um, assist. Because if that happens, I'm not going to be able to finish the series. So, I'm just going to call this done. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not quite the look I wanted. It's not 100% finished, but it's as much as I'm willing to do right now because I don't want to upset my eye any more than it already is. Yeah, unfortunately, th this is what you guys get. So, I will show you guys a zoom up. I'm sorry the red eye looks like crap, but I will still show you guys how it looks up close. So... Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner. I think this looks really cool with the blue here and the red here. It kind of brings it all together. I'm in love with this look. Um, I'm still not happy with this eye. It is still really, really watery. So I just want to show you guys the finished look of what I had originally planned for this look to end up looking like. Just without my eye being super red and watery. Maybe I will revisit this look after the holidays when I come back from my break. We'll see. So comment down below what you guys think. Um, your thoughts on this look. Um, if you are enjoying the 12 Days of Christmas, let me know down below. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, you guys, I am going to go wash my face, take all this off my face, get some eye drops, and just go relax in a dark room and keep my eyes shut for like an hour to try to get the redness and wateriness down. So yeah. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.